The United States Air Force Thunderbirds reached out and asked if I was ready to fly in an F-16. I reluctantly said yes. I'm gonna pass out. I mean, there's there's no other way about it. I'm gonna pass out. Let's just gonna drain out of your skull. I'm a little dizzy. We can uh, okay. take a quick pause. Do you feel like you have an elephant sitting in your chest? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Had to wake up 4 a.m. So you can bet I didn't sleep much, even though the explicit instructions were sleep a good night's sleep. They also said have a heavy breakfast, or at least a good breakfast. I had a protein bar. Oh, and a banana. We're trying to enter the Air Force Base, but apparently they said we don't know who you are. <laughs> apparently the Pentagon did not send our clearance through to this spot right here. And because of that, oh my God, plane landing. I was afraid to do this. What was I afraid of, you may ask? Well, the heights for one, the not knowing what it's gonna feel like, two. And three, I was worried about G-lock. G-force induce loss of consciousness. Okay, first of all, what is G-force? G-force is a poorly received 2009 Disney film about a team of secret agent guinea pigs. G-force is also a measurement of the force of gravity on our bodies. In everyday life, we have one G of force on us. That's the Earth's standard force of gravity. Our bodies are well acclimated to this. So we're gonna get you up to nine Gs today. A really wicked roller coaster. It's like three to four Gs, give or take. At one G, let's say you weigh 200 pounds. At nine Gs, you can weigh 1,800 pounds. Let's do what gravity tells them to. In this case, the blood's just gonna drain out of your skull. So as your heart beats, it's trying to have the blood move up, but there's way too much force pushing it down. As a result, you don't get enough circulation. You don't get enough oxygen going to the brain. You G-lock, you pass out. Right. How are you feeling, sir? The only way to fight that? One, I'm gonna be wearing a very special suit that helps squeeze my lower body in order to help push some of this blood back up into my body. The second thing is something known as the anti-G straining maneuver. Ready now. Good, good, good clench, good clench. Basically what I needed to do, learn to squeeze my entire lower body and try and keep my blood up here. And you're doing a breathing technique where you're exhaling very short breaths against a closed glottis. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> because if you don't, if you, let's say, go, oh, good luck taking a big deep breath in. You feel like you have an elephant sitting on your chest. This will be the t-shirt you wear underneath. This is gonna be your flight suit. So it's like one big pajama onesie. Okay. And then these are your boots, size 11? Okay, yep. All right. They make it sound so easy, Sam. <laughs> no, it's not. You said you'll be giggling at nine Gs, I think. I somehow don't think that's <laughs> Wait, did you say you can't have synthetics on? I think I'm wearing synthetic underwear. I haven't worn boots like this ever in my life. I would not make a good soldier. Everyone who wears this patch, we have to uh, work our way up to it. So it's an honor to wear this patch, and today you get to wear yeah. it. ready to not eject out of this aircraft. Okay, perfect. Good? good? Do you feel like you have a good seal? Yes. Inhale, hold, one, two, three, exhale. Yep, and take the helmet off. Perfect. Oh. They taught me about the eject lever in between my legs, but they also consistently told me, do not pull it unless you truly need to eject. Apparently someone in the past, they were so anxious being inside the cockpit that they just pulled it to get escape out. Next walks in, Lieutenant Colonel Kevin DeFalco, and he tells me everything we're about to do in this plane. And I'm not gonna lie, my anxiety was at an all-time high. I'm gonna pass out. I mean, there's, there's no other way about it. I'm gonna pass out. You'll be fine, I promise. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm like five one. Yeah, but that makes it better for you. More. You're know, more true. protected from the G-force. That's true, short and female. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like they sound very reassuring when they talk to you, but I think that the reassurance may be one of those, like make him think he'll be okay, so he will be okay. So I don't think I'm gonna be okay. But I, I might be okay.
last words? This was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, if you look at, uh, we're going about 0.67 knots, about 67% of speed of sound. Uh, That's in the bottom left corner. Bottom left corner, yeah. We're going to go around the ground. Three three knots, and I can switch that to ground speed. We're going 395 miles per hour ground speed. Four rockets, left arm on the parts of the car, we'll have Ready to go? Yep. Alright, good breath. Good speed. Here come the G's. I'm starting to lose my vision. My heart is working in overdrive to try and bring the blood back from my lower body to my brain. All right, next we're gonna go into a loop. You ready to go for the loop? Okay. Good breath, good squeeze. Here come the G's. Staring inside the cockpit was a really bad idea. It caused a sensory conflict between what my eyes were seeing and what my inner equilibrium was feeling. As a result, I got really nauseous. We're gonna bring it all the way through. We're gonna keep going, you can see our smoke. There's our smoke. Look up and you can see the smoke. There's our loop. How about that? Pretty cool. Ooh, I'm a little dizzy. We can uh, okay. take a quick pause. All right. We calibrate here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get down here. We're gonna do a knife edge next, okay? Ready to go? Yep. All right, here we go. We're just cruising along the clouds, a 90 degree angle. Nice and straight. One G straight down now, left side, right? Yep. Here we go, it's inverted, inverted. Pop up to two, roll inverted. We'll hang here. All right, you ready to roll 360 degrees? Yep. Here we go. Rolling it. Woo! There we go, inverted again. Woo! Take a look at the clouds, how fast they're moving. Yeah. Good breath. Here come the G's. been done without everyone here so I have to give everyone a huge thank you for allowing me to participate this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I'm going to be telling my followers my patients so thank you again and thank you Gator for getting me back safely yeah. thanks for keeping, a, keeping everybody healthy and happy um, and inspiring your followers to live a, a, a better life and, and that's important to us too I was so nervous I know I was a little worried you were I so was nervous, nervous during the briefings but after that first one, I knew I could handle it. Yeah. Came close to graying out a couple of times, but I noticed as I adjusted my muscles and I wasn't squeezing, let's say, my abdomen enough or my glutes enough, once I adjusted, right away the vision came back. Let's get this video to 100,000 likes. Let's continue our um, mission with the United States Air Force. Let's see some cool stuff. Let's see the medical side of it. Let's see what uh, being a doctor in the Air Force is like. I'm working and flying every day with my patients. If you wanna do that, definitely hit like. Check out this video of me saving a life on an airplane or this video here where I actually fly a different airplane and hold some incredible animals. Actually interact with the animals. Like both are really good watches. Which one are you gonna watch? As always, stay happy and healthy.